What is up you guys? You're watching Stranger's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you guys can give this video a thumbs up, hit support button, I would really, really appreciate it. So thank you for have each and every single one of you here. And today we're gonna be doing a shopping haul. I have not done a shopping haul like this in well over two years on the channel. I think since I was living in Houston, I feel like some of my style is not the same as what I am here in Dallas. I feel like my style is more classic, more refined, is not as serious as it once was, and it's also not as fun as it once was. It's just very cool girl, casual, relaxed, you know, button-ups, blazers, trousers, that's very much my style. So I needed a wardrobe refresh. I was seeing a lot of things in my wardrobe that I felt like didn't really work, and they didn't fit with my style. So um, later on in the week, or later on in the next few videos, I will be doing a shopping vlog and I will, I'll be doing a vlog and I'll be showing you some of the items that I will be selling. So stay tuned for that video. I have like a Prada bag. I have a lot of glasses, a lot of designer ready to wear, a lot of designer jackets. You know, I would buy things that were not my size, that did not look proportionate, some shoes I want to get rid of that are no longer my style. So uh, be prepared for that to be in the, one of the next few videos. But I did get new items that I will be replacing old items with. So that was my justification for purchasing each and every single unit of the things. And so let's go ahead and get started. And if, and if any of these items are available, I'm going to be leaving them in the description box for you guys. And yeah, I did score in San Marco Outlet. So uh, I do have two things that are not from the outlet that I do want to show you before I get started. First things first, I think this why so why are the perfume and the two ounce. Um, YSO Beauty kindly reached out and I got this sent my way so this will be in my little Valentine's Day basket so I'll be opening this on Valentine's Day but I did get this so I want to say thank you so much to my YSO family um, I really really appreciate this very very nice gesture in the year of 2024 I will be doing handbag reviews for a lot of brands a lot of heritage brands that I've talked about and a lot of new brands like Quince that I have not talked about but I did purchase this bag at the like a, like a week before um, 2024. This is the reason why this video this bag was not included in my 2024 wish list was because this was that this bag had already been purchased and this is my first Tory Burch bag in well over two years. You guys know I really haven't bought in Tory. I was more into Mark, but now that I find that Mark is not really my style, I don't identify with it as much. Now that I no longer work for Mark, um, you know, at work, I can pretty much wear whatever I want, which I'm very, very thankful for. So I saw this bag from Toy Birch. I texted up my essay and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. So the bag that I got is the Toy Birch Kira quilted top handle. So I have never been a really big fan of Kira Chevron. Like, I mean, I love it. My mom has a lot of Kira Chevron. You know, my mom has a bigger Toy Birch bag and we're trying to get her on the channel later on in the year. But she loves Toy Birch a lot and that's what got me into the brand. It makes me so happy that she loves all the items that I gift her throughout the years. I gave her Toy Birch Kira Chevron black on black uh, convertible satchel for Christmas. And so I kind of wanted to get a Kira myself. Um, but I think that the diamond quote definitely spoke for more of my style. I think for my everyday handbags, I prefer small bags like this when I go on dinners, when I go on dates, when I hang out with the girlfriends, with the gays. Um, I think bags like this are very appropriate for me. Either I do small bags like this or I do, you know, like bags like my Dagnit Over backpack, my Bottega Veneta Acro Tilt. You know, things that carry my laptop and all my filming equipment and everything. So there's not really an in-between. So... That's why I really haven't been wearing like my Chanel 19 Maxi or some of my other bags that are super big that don't necessarily fit a laptop or will damage the bag on a long term by using it. So I'm more into small bags or really large bags that fit my laptop. And so I feel like I needed a black one with gold hardware and I love it. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen it. That's why I always tell you guys to follow me on Instagram. This is the beautiful Kira Diamond Quilt. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It has more of like of a tarnish kind of a more of a muted gold is not as shiny that's what i like about it i love the top handle detail on it as well and i love that the quilt is more puffed and i think it gives it more of a modern more fun take now some people say this may be more like of a chanel 19 style which i do agree but i think this is a fraction of the cost this was 498 dollars i did pay 100 full price for this 
I don't pay full price for a lot of things. You guys know that. But the moment I saw this, I knew that I, if, that I was going to get the wear on it. And I love the magnetic closure. It comes with a strap. I'm trying to act like I haven't used the bag the last few days. As you can see, tengo recibos. I took this to the shopping hall with me. I'm trying to pretend that I haven't used it. But honestly, but I've had this for about like a week. And I can say that I have loved this bag every moment. And this is going to be one of my favorite bags for the rest of the year in 2024. Because I will be getting the Kira Sport Slide Sandal. The dad sandal that looks like the Chanel one. Um, to go with this so those two will be a perfect combination to take me through the spring and summer so be prepared to get sick of me <laughs> be prepared to me talk a lot about this bag but i'm super super happy to have this and i will be doing an updated my thoughts and opinions on toy rich handbags because there's a lot of newer styles and styles that gotten discontinued so um be prepared for that video but i love 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 this let's go ahead and get started with the actual items that i bought um i'm gonna be right honest with you i only really spent about like a thousand dollars a thousand one hundred dollars on everything and considering one of these shoes retails for twelve hundred dollars retail says that i scored and i love every one of these items there was one item that was iffy about but um my friend was gladly to take them off my uh, hand so i'll show you that um right now but i did go into the gucci outlet and I also did get contacts for MCM, for Gucci, and for Saint Laurent. So I'll be leaving that in the description box. Please do not go harassing. Please do not ask them a lot of million questions. They are very busy. They're very grateful for me to even give them their contacts. So if you do guys want a point of contact for a designer outlet, so associate, I will leave them in the description box. But please be very mindful and please be very curious and please be very inquirers only as associate myself. I don't want people to be bothering harassing them or you know asking a lot of questions only serious inquiries only please so uh, i took the time to get them for you and i want to make sure i look good with them so i'll be leaving them in the description box but i see i always come through for you guys but i went to the gucci outlet i didn't really know what to expect to buy um but i saw these boots and i uh, i saw these boots and i was like oh my god i was like now let me try them on and so I ended up getting these boots right here. All right, these gorgeous Gucci boots with the you know, with the uh, classic iconic Gucci horse bit on a classic Chelsea boot made out of soft leather. Now these are a size 42. Uh, once I kind of went home and I played with them, I found out maybe they're a little too big. I had a friend that's a size 42, very very similar style that I do. I asked, hey, do you want them? If you want them, yes. If you don't, I'm just gonna keep them. Gladly take them off my hands. So um, these will be going to my uh, my new home. That's why I saw my friends get themselves a Sergio because Sergio will always think of all my friends before. So these ones will be going to a new home, one of my close friends. But um, these were $170 from $1,250. And they are absolutely gorgeous. The reason why I didn't keep them was just because I'm trying to do a thing where I'm trying to buy things that fit me more perfect. These were just a tad too big. I kind of honestly went for a size 40. These are 42. I was kind of uh, slipping out of them even with chunky socks once I got home because, you know, I don't wear socks with my sneakers. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to buy things that are more attentional, more purposeful. So they didn't work out, but I did have a friend that worked out for them. So um, I did get these and I do love them, but... They will be going to a new home. The Gucci store will get renovated in San Marcos. They told me in about a week or in the next few weeks or so. But this is probably my favorite item that I bought for myself. These are a pair of Gucci loafers. You guys know I have been wearing my Gucci, I think they're Jordan or Horsebit loafer for many years now. Like super, super many years. I want to say since the beginning of this channel, like five years ago. I think I remember being 18 working, working retail and buying those shoes. But honestly, they've had their day in court, <laughs> they've had their run, they run their course, they've been resold, and they just needed to get retired. And so the lady said, oh, um, what else are you looking for? Very, very nice sales associate. She took her time, you know, sometimes that can be a little uh, complicated <laughs> shopper. I kind of want to make sure it speaks to me. And she was like, let me bring you these shoes. I think you're going to love them. And she was 100% right because this is my favorite thing out of the haul. And there's some good bangers in this haul. These are a beautiful, guys. <laughs> these are some beautiful Gucci loafers, guys. Like, y'all, when I tell you I was so happy when she pulled these out, she was like, Miko, try these on. 
and man these are gorgeous they have a very subtle gg which i personally don't mind it's super tiny you can't even see it from a distance the reason why i love these is because i had my other gucci love for five years they've been through hell and back they survived the houston streets my brother be going to the ranch and stuff they survived because i would let him borrow some of my shoes man those those are the traveling gucci horse bit shoes they need to, they ran their course so i definitely need to get one for play and so yeah these are a size 7 uk which is a us 8 i am a true men's 8 shoe size i am a true size 40 um sometimes i do size up because i do have a wider foot but these men's ones straight uh, uk7 fit perfectly and i am in love with them like look at them they are absolutely gorgeous they're stunning they're black they're gold you can't go any more classic with this i now that i'm a lot more mature now that i take care of my things now that i don't go further i don't really go crazy i'm not in these streets these are going to be well taken care of so i honestly see myself these lasting like seven years in my closet the other ones lasted five years and they're so they're still holding on strong i'm gonna give them to my brother so he can wear them but um these are still going are going to go very very strong so um i believe i kind of want to get them resold i'm still not sure too yet uh because i kind of want to like i said i'm in this new era where i really want to take care of my things i really want to make sure things last for even longer than i am and i'm pretty good taking care of myself but i love these and these ones retail for 890 dollars and i got them for drum roll please for 230 bucks so for under 250 bucks, black classic gold Gucci loafers, I love. You're gonna get love. You're gonna get so much better. So I'll probably end up bringing these to New York with me. I'm so excited. I try not to go super crazy in this haul, but like I said, I do need some new wardrobe refresh items, and I love these. Like ah, finally I can I can retire my other one to be like Sebastian, my, my brother's name. De los doy, de los doy. And these are. Mine. I'm so excited for them. My favorite thing from this haul. I have a few things that I purchased from Neiman Marcus. Um, they put them in a Prada shopping bag because I was. It, it was just like a lot of shopping bags. I had my friend at Neiman Marcus last call. You know who you are. I want to say that I love you. I appreciate you. I love having a beautiful conversation with you every time I go. You always make me smile. You always brighten up my day. So you know who you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I ended up picking up five pieces and I only paid... $340 for all of them. So let's go ahead and run the run through. First of all, they treat me so well. Everybody was so nice to me this time around. When you have good energy, you're gonna reflect that right back because you can see I'm getting super happy showing you this. They put this in a beautiful garment bag for me. And I will show you the first item that I bought. The item that I bought is this beautiful Veronica Beard blazer. And I do have a try on and everything in the shopping vlog if you guys want to reference that. This is a Veronica Beard Dickie. This is in a size 12 it fit me perfectly all the ladies said sergio it looks phenomenal you don't need any alterations on it you guys know i love running your blazers i just feel in the past because i was stuck on a size in my head mentally i always get them in a size six or size eight and usually i'm more like of a 10 in a Veronica Beer blazer. This one's in a 12, so it's a more oversized fit, and I wanted it just so it's more flowy for the summertime. Um, so I'm buying things that are also my size as well, so that's why I kind of want to do a wardrobe refresh. I don't want to buy things that are very tight, very constrictive. I want to buy things that I will use and get a lot of wear and a lot of love, not things that are just looking pretty in a closet. So I got this Veronica Beer jacket. She retailed for 700. I got her half off from $342. I live in Veronica Beer Blazers. I love Veronica Beer Blazers and I have a Veronica Beer collection enough to make a whole YouTube video. But Veronica Beard is one of my favorite ones, so I did pick this. And the next things that I picked up were these Mother Denim in this white color. I already have a pair of jeans like this. You can see my underwear line through. I didn't think that looked very flattering on me, so I ended up getting these for my friend. They're really, really pretty. And she was originally $218. She was $35. So I did pick that up. I pick up a pair of mother jeans that I actually wore today. These are a mother superior. Superior are the ones that don't have any stretch on them. I like the jeans that don't have any stretch because um, you can kind of get true to your size. These ones are in a 27. They do fit a little bit loose, but that's what I wanted them to fit loose because Houston rodeo season literally is right around the corner. If not, it's already started. The lineup has already been announced. And so I wanted to wear things that I can wear with men's boots, men's button-ups, jackets and stuff. I still wanted them for them to be women's denim, but I didn't want them to be super constrictive. I wanted to look proportional. So I saw these and these are going to get a lot of wear because I do have 
a lot of like boots to wear so I did pick these up I think these end up being like $70 or something um, a really great price because these one retail for $288 you guys know I'm not really into the distressing on the denim anymore I used to love rips I used to love like all that I don't really like that anymore I prefer them to be clean cut they can have like a little raw hem or maybe a little bit of distressing here like on the front of the denim but anything super crazy uh, I'm kind of matured out of that style. I'm not really into it and I'm not really into the super stretch because over time even after like a wash or two They just don't fit the same and I think for me everything is about fit So these were a definitely heavy hitter. I did get this little top right here. It's black. It's a, a turtleneck It has this like longer sleeve for more of a kind of like a conservative look in the summertime um, this one we took for $150. It was there for $43, half off. I think it was like $21.50. Um, you guys know I wear like I can wear this with denim. I can wear this with black slacks. I can wear them with everything. So um, it pretty much goes with everything. So uh, I picked it up. The beginning of that vlog, you saw me. I said I wanted to buy belts, and so I did end up going to get that ragged boat belt. This belt is made in England, actually. It says real leather. I mean, it should be real leather for this price tag. Am I right? Uh, retail at least size medium. I will have to punch like two holes in it I can do that at my job or I can punch them myself. I'm pretty good at that um, These retail for 160 this leather is really well. I will say rag and bone um, I that's I can do a whole different rag and bone. I think rag and bone has really good quality. I love the materials I love what the standby on but this retail for 160 it was there for 56 and a half off so I got this for $28 um, for a $160 belt, uh, black, classic, silver, it's gonna punch two holes. It's gonna go with all my denim, it's gonna go with all my trousers. I just wanted something that didn't have any logo. It does have the little rag and bone engraving, but as you can see from my head to here, you can't really see it if you're walking past by, so I don't actually mind the little subtle engraving, super simple, but I did love this, and this was an absolute great purchase. <laughs> now let's do the Saint Laurent item, the that actually ripped trying to put this in the car, so uh, let's go ahead and start. So I got two things from Saint Laurent. Look at this gorgeous box. First of all, they don't really don't give you boxes when you buy things from Saint Laurent. So that was the uh, Saint Laurent hat. So I do have my Misa Michelle hat. I wear it all the time. It's a little too big, believe it or not. Um, this is a men's hat, and I'm going to try it on for you. I just did my hair, but it is a little off. I will say just a little bit, but I had my Misa Michelle and like my real Cavender, like real men's hats kind of get like a little off. What I do is I usually go to Cavender's. There's a person that steams and fixes the hats, throw maybe $10, $15 in the jar, and those babies be looking brand new in the matter of minutes. So um, I think it's a little, little, little off, but nothing that $15 can't fix. First of all, I, I struggle with hats. I have such a big head. Even all my all my homeboys, all my friends, they say, Sergio, you have to just have such a big head. So I'm gonna do a little 360. So uh, the cell associate said I was serving Joanne, like uh, that Lady Gaga era. I, I kind of agree. I love kind of like this kind of like westerny look. I saw it and I thought of rodeo season too. I was like, you know what? This is kind of like my version of like rodeo season because even though I don't live in Houston anymore, I still love the rodeo and I'll still be participating in it. But I just saw it and I was like, you know what? It's a done dead deal. The price tag said that it was $339. I was like, should I buy it, should I not? The retail was $895. He scanned it. Baby, this hat was $89. It was 90% off. This classic black hat with this detail, with the box, with everything. A hundred bucks, a little under hundred bucks. Oh baby, sign me up. And that's why I was like, I was willing to pay even if it's like up to $30 to $40 to fix the hat. But now that I see it on camera, I don't think it looks it doesn't look too bad, right? Also with hats like this, you just have to be extra careful. You have to make sure. You know, I, I'm happy that he did give me the box. Yeah. You definitely, I mean, some Michelle did get misshapen a few times and you just have to take care of it really well. But I love the hat. It's very much me, black and white, super simple, super classic. I love all the details on it. So it says Saint Laurent inside. I already took the tag off. Um, it has a Saint Laurent right here. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a beautiful hat and I love me a good hat. You guys know I've been wearing hats So, you know, I, I love it. I think this was a great purchase and 
I think I will be parting ways with my Misa Michelle hat just because it's a little too big and this will be probably the hat that will be replacing it. So like I said, I did buy things to replace other things like denim, rip denim for regular denim. So a lot of the things are just kind of switchovers of classics I already have because everything that I pretty much bought is nothing out of the ordinary. Everything is super classic, super simple. So when people say you can buy classic things at the outlet, yes, you can. Everything that I bought is super classic and it's to my style. And the next item, which is the last item in the entire haul, as you can see, this haul is actually pretty good. We got a good amount of stuff. Got some shoes, hats, clothing, belts. This is a belt. Um, I tried on things at Saint Laurent. I tried on find, like fashion jewelry. I was kind of looking for maybe earrings. I didn't really find anything. I didn't really find anything in the ready to wear. That jumper was really nice that I tried on, but I was like, should I do I need it? Do I want it? Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. So I didn't end up going for it, but that is something that I may go back. But I'm also going to New York in about two weeks, so I also wanted to have a priority to have more spending money in New York. So I kind of wanted to have, buy things that are important, maybe buy more fun things in New York. So this is a Saint Laurent belt. Um, this will be replacing my classic Saint Laurent belt that I have, the super simple one that's for 45 or 550. Um, it's just a little too simple for me. I want something that has a little bit more pizzazz to it. And this is literally a simple belt but with a pizzazz to it, like a Western take. I think my style is definitely going more towards a classic Western style. Like I really want to get like a turquoise bolo tie. Uh, I really, really want to go into that kind of style like Ralph Lauren, Ricky bag, like stuff like that. They come with the box, they did come with the dust bag. And this is the belt that I got. This is a Saint Laurent belt. I love that it's not in a shiny hardware. I love that it's kind of like in this brushed silver hardware with the black leather. This is in a size 85. I am a true 85 in all my designer belts. And this one was originally $500. I got it for $139, y'all. When I tell you I scored in these outlets, guys, I scored. I love this. I have a dinner right after this video. I'm wearing some black trousers and this will go well with pretty much everything. Pretty much with my other YSL. So, like I said, the other YSL, so I just I just didn't like that it was just super simple wise. So I wanted something that had a little bit more texture, that had a little bit more fun, a little bit more uniqueness. And the other one just had Y, so I do love more of the texture and the fun of this. So I'll be getting rid of that and replacing it with this. And yeah, guys, that is going to be my Sir Marcos outlets. I love everything that I got. I think this was a really successful shopping vlog. If you guys have seen my other shopping vlogs from the outlets, you know, in the past, I feel like I would buy more quirky things, things that were not really my style. But I feel like in this vlog, I got everything's my style. Everything's a 10 out of 10. I'm super excited to be wearing everything. And yeah, January is actually a really good time to go to the outlets because when I went, it was dead. Nobody was there. Nobody bothered me. I could take time with the essays. I could have conversations. Some of y'all, I ran into some of y'all. Some of y'all were essays and we were chit-chatting. Some of you guys we're just regular people chit-chatting, you know, you can take things more calm versus a busy weekend. So I always recommend the best thing to go to outlets on on a Thursday. And probably when I go to New York, I'll probably end up going on a Thursday or Friday. Um, just so like it's not as busy as like a, a Saturday or Sunday. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the haul. You think I did good? Do you think I did bad? And also stay tuned for a mini closet sale because there are probably like 20 units of designer items that I will be getting rid of. Uh, just to bring in all this newness that are kind of like updating my newer current style I want to say thank you so much for each and every so many of you for watching this video Give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button And I'll leave the links for everything in the description box if they're available And I'll see you guys on the next video Bye guys, los quiero, los quiero mucho